We're getting ready to greet the festival of Sukkot. This is the holiday that brings us outside of the comfort of our homes and outdoors into the elements. And so I wanted to know how people feel about being outdoors, what they enjoy doing outdoors, what maybe they don't enjoy about being outside. So let's go find out what they have to say. What's something that you love to do outdoors? Um, I like to play ball. Um, I like to play on the playground with my friends at school. Walking. Um, hanging out with my friends in the nature. Um, I think about like gardening and stuff. I'm not, I'm not a huge outdoorsy guy, honestly. Um, I like to do soccer a lot with Lillian and Mira. I like to go swimming with Ronnie and Mira. I think of basketball and trees. Basketball and trees, what do you like to do with trees? I mean, I don't know, just whenever I just look outside, there's always trees. <laughs> well, I really like like taking those like 20 minute breaks in between my classes for recess. I feel like it's really refreshing to like go outdoors. And I like going on water slides. Soccer and painting because it's messy and it's outdoors. Wait, painting is outdoors? Well, you could do it outdoors also. You could. You could. Have you ever painted outdoors? Yeah. What are some things you like to do outside? You like to eat ice cream outside, I'm sure. What do you like to do, Alexis? I like looking at nature. You like being outside in nature? What do you like to do in the outdoors, Jess? Uh, we love to go kayaking and uh, camping. Did you build a fire outside? Yeah. We're going to... That's awesome. <laughs> Just looking at the stuff. Because like usually there's plants and flowers and it's interesting to look at. Whose child are you? Yours. Oh, okay. Being outside helps me calm down um, sometimes when I get really frustrated and I get like all like inside and I feel like the only air I'm breathing is like the stuffy one and I go outside and I just breathe the calm air. Wow, that's a great tip. Some self-care tips. Is there anything you don't like about the outdoors, about being outside? No. Sometimes it gets really dirty and you get mud all over you. Ooh, muddy. We don't like muddy. It gets what? It gets cold. Oh, sometimes it's too cold. That's true. What about you, Abe? Sometimes there's too much bugs and it crawls on you. Bugs, mud, cold, we, stuff we can't control. Uh, that there's wasps. Mostly mosquitoes. Mean bugs. I just took a piece of my ice cream. How do you guys feel about the bees and the bugs and the crawlies? I don't like them because they're, like, they're all over us and he got stung this week. He got stung this week and now he's scared. Sometimes it's buggy and really hot. Mosquitoes. It can get very cold. Bugs. That's a common theme here. Not a big problem with bugs. Um, when it's winter, I hate when snow gets inside my jacket because then it gets cold. Like, oh, yeah. that's the worst, when the snow creeps inside? Yeah, it's really, like, it's the worst thing. Snow, because it's, it's funner to play in than rain. Snow. Rain. Snow, because you got to be outside, and I also got to go skiing, and being able to do more activities in the rain, you have to stay inside. And we're not, we haven't done any uh, rain skiing yet. It hasn't worked out. No, 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 I'm not sure. Snow, you can do like snow angels. Out in the snow, it's fun. Playing in the snow. What do you like to make with snow? Snowballs. Rain, I like to jump in the mud. Oh, it's all about mud. Yep, playing in the snow. What would you do in the snow? Just like, maybe make a huge snowball. I've made really big ones before. How big is the biggest snowball you've ever made? Probably like this big. Summer because... If you, if, if you choose between rain and snow, between rain and snow, which would you choose? Summer. But what about the snow or the rain? The, rain. <laughs> rain. Rain? You like the... Snow. Which one do you like better? Snow. There's a lot of favorite seasons I have too. Uh, sw swimming in the pool, uh, like summer, uh, like AB, uh, and right now it's like just hot and cold at the same time. It just feels so good. Right at the end of the summer, the beginning of the autumn. What's your favorite season? 
winter because I like playing in the snow. I like throwing snowballs at my brothers. <laughs> that is useful. Probably spring because it's like very like, um, it smells very nice outside and there's a lot of flowers. Summer for camp. Oh, nice. Also because of camp or because of the weather? Uh, the weather and just no school, you know. You don't have to raise your hands, I can see you. May, May because it's my birthday. The season of May? That, is that a whole season because it's your birthday? Uh, fall. I like the pretty color leaves. Fall. Champ or gaggable? Good. Uh, you could respect God. You could respect God outside. And when you look at the world outdoors, you think of God's creations? Yes. Whoa, Abe, that's deep. What do you think, Alex? You can pray outside. You could pray outside. Probably gives you an appreciation of prayer in a different way. What do you think? You can, if you have like any problems or anything, you can go outside and pray to God. This is a very spiritual group. I love it. My favorite Jewish holiday is Hanukkah. 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 Probably Hanukkah. Probably Hanukkah. I like the light and getting presents. <laughs> Hanukkah. Why? Because Hanukkah is Jewish. Because what? Hanukkah is Jewish. It's Jewish? Yeah, and we have, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hanukkah. Why do you like Hanukkah? Because you get chocolate money. Chocolate money, what could be bad? Of course. That's awesome. Uh, Shabbat. Shabbat is your favorite Jewish holiday. I love that. Yeah, it's a holiday every week. Why do you love it the best? Because you get holla and it's just like to spend time with your family and it respects God and I care about God a lot. That's really beautiful. Sukkot, I mean, it's just such an original holiday. Gotta give it that. So Props to the outdoor sukkah. The whole concept is unbelievable. And I feel it really connects you to ancient times more than any other holiday does. I love that. This is gonna end up being a Sukkot video, actually. Okay. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Okay, so in Sukkot, me and my family used uh, to, used to, and we still are doing it when I'm in Israel, we used to eat in the Sukkah every day. And on Sukkot, Sukkot evening, everyone come to my house and we're having a big dinner in the Sukkah after we go to the synagogue and it's amazing and it is so fun and uh, yeah I miss that. My favorite holiday is Rosh Hashanah because it's a new year starting and we use the Shkofar. Beautiful! Thank you guys so much! Shana Tova! Shana Tova! Bye! Can be? <laughs> so what have we learned? We learned that people love Hanukkah they also prefer the snow, which coordinates well with Hanukkah. Um, and we've also learned that people are not crazy about bugs. But I guess that's part of being in the outdoors. And the Festival of Sukkot teaches us this, that we, we leave the comfort of our homes. We go into vulnerability, into spaces that we can't really control. And ultimately, we recognize that uh, God's world is greater than us is bigger than any of us can anticipate. But I guess that's what Sukkot is all about. We go outside, we go into the elements just for one last um, enjoyment of, of the outdoors before we hunker down for the winter. It's a harvest festival. It's a festival of appreciating all that nature has to offer for us. And so I wish you all a Chag Sukkot Sameach. Enjoy and let's go into the Sukkah and have a snack.